Hi, I'm Leon Adams, Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Southwest Electronic Energy. Today I'm going to take you through a demo of the C-Safe Direct 30 volt 28 amp hour battery. As you can see, I'm putting the battery directly into the water. I have the SWE C-Safe Observer software running with, which shows the status of the battery, the load volts, and other items. Here you see under status the green light. 29.6 volts, zero currents drawing out of the battery on standby mode with 20 degrees Celsius temperature and about 53% remaining capacity. Over here we have the connections coming out of the battery. Power output from the battery is to a diode oring module. Coming out of this diode oring module, we have the diode oring discharge port connected to the load output, which is then connected to an inverter and a DC to AC charge port, which goes into this DC power supply, current limited. Also coming out of the same connector, we have the RS-45. If you look here, you can see all those items coming out of the single sub C cable. The RS-485 connection goes to a communications converter that converts it to USB. And then the USB goes into the PC. On the PC, we can see the program that gives us the feedback from the battery. This program is actually reading the battery status via communications with the battery management system via RS-485 Modbus to USB. Now I will turn the load on the battery and you will see the standby mode go to discharge. The load is going to be this inverter. When we turn the load on, you'll see some capacitors filling and spiking there and the status goes to discharging. So that's a natural mode of the battery supporting a load discharging. This is being reported from the battery management system. When we look to the chart, this is a prior load that I've profiled. You can see the load of the inverter turning on here with the negative direction of the red current line. However, the battery stays very stable during this current pulse. We will put an additional load on it. I'm going to plug in a light. See this light turned on here. What you can be able to see is the chart additional negative load current on the battery being logged from the light being turned on. I will unplug that light and you can see the load go back to the lighter load level of the inverter here. Now at the same time I have a power supply over here that is set to 30.3 volts DC. Notice on the observer it goes from discharging mode to standby mode. It might pop into charging mode depending on the amount of the load. Turning on the power supply and it goes to standby mode. That is because we have essentially the same amount of current coming into the system from the power supply as we have being pulled out of the system by the inverter. I will increase the current amount of the power supply and you will see the battery actually go to charging mode. So it's going ahead and consuming and charging itself as would be the natural balance of the system. Now we will put some additional load into the system by turning the light back on and it puts load in enough to where it switched from charging to discharging and now to standby. So it's balancing now between what the power supply is providing and what the battery is backing up. It is oscillating back and forth depending on the capacitor load in the inverter. So that shows you that the source of the power can be from your input supply or it can be from your battery. It will actually balance accordingly and the battery may charge itself if necessary during this process if it has been discharged. That's a UPS oriented application using the diode oring module for that support. You do not need to have a charger hooked up during your discharge use, but this is an example that shows the UPS capability. 
Thank you for watching the C-Safe Direct Demo.